All right, today we've got some freeze-dried milk out of the Harvest freeze dryer. Um, I'm not sitting here as a professional telling you that I know how to do everything. I'm just giving you my experience at our first time doing freeze-dried milk. So as you can see on the window here, our time is done. So I need to open the drain valve here, which is on the side, and I'm gonna do that. So it's gonna be a little noisy right here. The only thing running is this, but this is gonna be a little noisy right here when I open this valve. And I take it out of the bucket so that it doesn't suck in water or anything that might be in there. So now that that's done, it releases the pressure inside and I can open this up. And so what I'm going to check for, uh, I want to make sure that there's nothing that seems cold because if there's a cool spot in this, and yes, I'm touching it with my hand, but this is going to be us that eats this or drinks this. Um, but right now, everything feels the way that it's supposed to, which is warm. And I've seen videos where folks have had um, their freeze-dried milk in there, and it's actually exploded a little bit. Um, inside these trays, if it's not fully frozen, and then the vacuum begins to pull the air out, it tends to explode, I guess, the milk a little bit. The, what we did with ours is I put it in the freeze dryer first, and we just don't have the space that a lot of people have in the way of, let's say, a deep freeze. So what I ended up doing is I just filled the trays inside the Harvest Right freeze dryer. So I just took a gallon of milk, and I actually poured probably this much in a cup, just a regular sized cup, and then I begin pouring in our freeze dryer in directly into the trays. So they were not pre-frozen when I started this. <clears throat> Tell you what, I'm gonna shut this off. So I did not, um, I did not pre-freeze any of these trays when we did our milk. And I wasn't sure how that was gonna go. Um, it ended up taking a total of like 48 hours, which is a long time. I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take. Now your time will be cut uh, a lot shorter if you freeze your milk ahead of time but like I say we didn't have the space to do that so this is what you're left with and I had we had no problems on ours you can see that this is exactly how you want it to look it is super dry and in case you've never seen videos of how this works I mean this was a full gallon of milk uh, I seen another video where it was stuck to the tray. Ours didn't stick to the tray and literally, I mean, just watch how crazy this is. It just, it's just like, like styrofoam, literally. So I'll end up putting this in a Ziploc bag. This isn't, this is my hillbilly way of doing things, but I'm gonna put it in this bag. I'm gonna crush it up and then I'm gonna end up putting it in one of these Mylar bags. And if you have the Harvest Right freeze dryer, you know that it comes with some bags. You're gonna want an oxygen absorber, and that'll go in there as well. And then this here will seal it up for us so that we can have it for years to come. So anyway, I wanted to show our experience. This isn't like, this is how everyone should do theirs. This was just our experience at it. And I just wanted to give you a chance to see what it looked like. And here's the finished product and we'll have it for years to come. So thanks for tuning in. On to more freeze drying.